Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, it is kind of a declutter video, but like I'm not decluttering, but I'm showing you eyeshadow palettes that I've already decluttered. So if you want to see the eyeshadow palettes that I will no longer have in my makeup collection, then just keep watching. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for joining me today for this video. So a fact about moi. I have a box in the corner of the makeup section in my room and it's just a box full of palettes that I am decluttering or taking out of my makeup collection. As I'm editing, I do want to clarify this box that I speak of, it's makeup or items or palettes that are basically on trial for me to see if I'm really ready to get rid of them or not and uh, eventually if after they've been there for a long enough time I will like actually get rid of them but it's also stuff that has been in there for a long time because like I just the memories I don't know I'm a makeup hoarder I am people shame me for keeping old makeup because we can't use it anymore but like like it's my life, so like it's important to me. <laughs> it's weird, okay? Call me a hoarder. I am a makeup hoarder, but like I like to keep makeup to look at and bring back memories. <laughs> now I do have a hard time decluttering eyeshadow palettes in particular because I use eyeshadow palettes all the time to reference things in my videos. And there even have been occasions where I've pulled out eyeshadow palettes from this specific box just to show or compare. It takes a long time for these palettes to actually reach the trash or the hands of another owner. Sometimes it never reaches the trash can. But this is currently what is sitting in that box and a lot of these, just kind of looking at them very soon, will see their way out of this house because I just don't see even a use for mentioning or comparing anymore. But I thought it would be interesting to show you some blasts from the past. A lot of these are older eyeshadow palettes that can no longer be used or just ones that I never use and I don't like. So we'll start off with the ones that pull at the string of my heart. I have a really hard time getting rid of these Lorac palettes. I have such a strong connection to Lorac palettes because they were my favorite for years. I especially love these Mega Pro palettes because I used to hunt them down. So the first one that I'm getting rid of is the Lorac Mega Pro 2 just based on age. This I've had for a many a years. This I used all the time in college. I felt like it had every single color that I needed at the time. Now kind of looking at it, it looks dull compared to all of the other palettes that I have in my collection but I used to love this baby this got a ton of use out of me but it's just really really old and I never really reach for my Lorac palettes in general anymore but this is a really great palette though just looking at it for every day very fabulous I think Lorac's kind of gone down in the toilet if I'm being honest but this one was a really good one the Lorac Mega Pro 4 on the contrary this I'm getting rid of simply because I felt like the quality in here was not very good a lot of the shadows just blended away or ended up on my cheeks overall I thought the color story was very pretty when this first came out I thought it was a lot different than what they had come out with previously we have some lighter shades here we have some blue pops over here but ooh, the quality of this was really bad so I put this in my pile to declutter because simply it's not good but it does come in handy when I talk about palettes that I don't like because I really was disappointed by this one. The last Lorac palette that I plan on decluttering is the Unzipped Ocean Sunset palette. So this one is so pretty. I ugh, I really like it. So it has this weird opening but okay. <laughs> and here are the shades. I just bought this at the time because I thought it had a very unique color story and it's true. Looking at this I don't have a color story like this particularly this mint green shade. I mean, girl, who would not like this shade? See, this is why I can't go through this box because then I look at it and I want to put this back in my collection. Okay. This one's going to remain in this box a little longer because it's really pretty. By the way, I'm not going to swatch any of these eyeshadow palettes because quite frankly, if I swatch them, then I will refall in love with them and add them back to my collection and we ain't going to do that. Not today. So the next palette that I have is from Pure. I have a large number of palettes in here that I actually got in my BoxyCharm. Back in the day when I did BoxyCharm, I canceled my subscription because again, these palettes just ended up being given away or thrown away. I just have so much makeup at this point, it was becoming too much. But this is the... 
Pure Festival palette, and I don't think I've dipped into this guy once. This one I think I might re-gift to a family member, but it has really pretty colors in here and different textures. I think that the Pure quality, when they collaborate with BoxyCharm, it's not as good. They definitely cheapen it for the box, but this has pretty colors, so this one I'm going to re-gift. I have a couple palettes from Too Faced that I'm getting rid of. So the first one is this Razzle Dazzle Berry eyeshadow palette. If I do recall, I did talk about this in a palette video recently. Again, I pulled it out of that box, but I really just did not have a good time with these palettes. I thought they were difficult to work with. The colors just weren't good quality. The only kind of saving grace here was the smell, which is extremely strong now that I'm thinking about it. I also really love this shimmer here, but other than that, this palette really didn't do it for me, but it's one of those though where I'm like looking at it again and it's really pretty, so it's going to stay in the box for a little bit longer, but I didn't like it, so I need to stop. Okay, so the next palette is the Natural Love palette. Do you guys remember when this was a big deal? I just remember my college roommate had this one and she used it to pieces. Like, so much pan was hit. But this is a gorgeous palette overall. I think nowadays our color palette is a bit more sophisticated as far as everyday wear. And to be quite honest, a lot of these shades probably look the same on the eyelid, but it's a gorgeous palette. They have since come out with like another version of this, like a volume 2 and I didn't pick that up but I was tempted to because of how gorgeous this palette is and I'm looking at it and I really like it but this is super old so it definitely needs to be thrown away. This has some nostalgia to it. It's a really nice palette. I also have the Glitter Bomb palette from Too Faced and this one's a pretty easy giveaway. This actually got quite bad reviews but I liked these with the glitter glue. They're just simple glitter shades. I think this was one of the first kind of glitter eyeshadow palette that came out and nobody gave it attention except for for me and I think they did a good job for it but I think now brands have really figured out how to do a good glitter shadow so now those put this to shame but for the time that this came out this was quite original and very very nice and then we also have the Too Faced chocolate bonbon palette not even sure how old this palette is if I'm being honest it has a lot of really nice neutral tones in here even leaning a little bit more cool it still kind of smells like chocolate but this is super cute, but oh my gosh, this has to be like six, seven years old, probably more than that. It's just so cute though. I just kind of liked having the whole collection of the chocolate bar palettes, but this one has, it's just taking up space. I also have the other Too Faced Sparkling Pineapple eyeshadow palette. So this one again, I struggle with because they're really pretty, but even these shimmers are like this weird putty formula that don't actually deposit pigment. And it's, again, it smells really good and it looks really pretty, but it was like they tried so hard to create this new innovative formula, but the formula wasn't that good. I also have this Touch and Soul Metalist High Shine Bouncy Cream Shadow Palette. I loved this for a really long time. I think I got this in my senior year of college. These are like a bouncy cream formula and they're really pretty and like glittery and they just had a lot of dimension on the eye, but this has dried out and I think this might still be available. I don't recommend it just because they don't last that long. They dry out very quickly in this palette, so that's sad. It's kind of a waste honestly. I have a couple ColourPop palettes that I'm getting rid of. These are old like back in the beginning when they first started doing eyeshadow palettes. This is the Golden State of Mine and they made too many of these. I remember they were like giving these away up for free with every single purchase that you made. They just made so many and honestly this is not a bad palette. It's really pretty. It has a very nice array of really glittery shiny reflective shadows and lid toppers and just things to finish off your look and so I kept this in my collection for for a really long time because the colors in here are really pretty but I never reached for it you know I have so many shivers I have so many eyeshadows and as much as I liked this I never used it so it's kind of old now at this point it probably needs thrown away same thing with this semi precious palette and I never got the hype about this like I remember Temptalia this was one of her favorite shadow palettes that came out that year I don't even know what year it was but I, I mean this one I remember was a little bit more expensive and everybody thought that the quality in here was really not Ooh. I mean, 
She kind of pretty though. I know I said it. This is why I can't swatch you guys. That's really, really pretty, but they don't even sell that anymore. So I have no use for that, but whoo, that was really pretty. But people love that palette and I never reached for it. I never got the hype until like now, apparently. I have some of these MAC palettes that I'm decluttering. I feel like they made so many of these and again, they never sold. They did end up discontinuing these, but this one is the Mischief, Mischief Minx. I believe this was my mom's and then she gave it to me and then I just decided to declutter it because I never used it. It's a more warm tone palette and these I thought were nice. I didn't think formulation wise they were anything special but I thought the colors in here were nice and the quality is decent. Um, I also have Fashion Fanatic. This one was mine. I actually really liked this one when I wanted a, something a little bit more colorful but I just have so many palettes as you know in my collection. I just didn't have a use for these you know. I just never found myself grabbing these. Stop swatching these. It's making me want to keep them. I touched the purple in that one and I was like, mm. okay, moving on. I have this one from Beauty Bakery. This is the Do It For The Gram eyeshadow palette. And this is one of my first rendezvous with Beauty Bakery. And honestly, I was not impressed with this palette. I feel like this lacked pigmentation. The colors were just blah. Honestly, I don't even know why I bought this. I thought it looked cute, I think, because they were such big pans. But I've never really been a fan of the quality of this palette and I've heard so many amazing things about Beauty Bakery and I was honestly kind of let down with this palette because I didn't like the quality of it but it's like such a nice big palette and I had a hard time getting rid of it because it was the only eyeshadow palette that I owned from Beauty Bakery and one of the few items in general from the line that I owned but it really is disappointing. Ooh, here is a blast from the past you guys. This is the Morphe and Kathleen Lights collaboration. I remember being on the phone in my dorm room. I, I lived in my sorority house in my room on my like, wafted bed ordering this palette because I was so excited. I've loved Kathleen Lights for years and this was when Morphe was very, very popular this came out. So me as a broke college student, I was very excited to purchase this more affordable eyeshadow palette. I mean, at this point, this is what, like five years old? Quite old. Otherwise, I think I would keep it and I love Kathleen Lights. I buy basically every single one of her makeup collaborations and this one has such good colors. Like, she picked warm tones, cool tones, berries, the most perfect mattes. She did a really nice job with this array of color. But um, yeah, that's cool. The Pixie and its Judy Time collaboration. I love It's Judy Time. I watch her channel still to this very day, the It's Judy's Life. I love her family. And I really liked this palette that she collaborated for them on. And yeah, I mean, it's just like warm tone neutrals. It's nothing really special, but I like the clear packaging. And I'm the only person on earth that really likes clear packaging like this so that you can see the colors. I feel like if I had a makeup brand, this would be the kind of packaging that I would have. I love Luxe packaging, but I just really like a clear acrylic front and I would get so blasted for it but I really like this palette I thought the colors were very wearable I don't think pixie has the most amazing formula but since I also love Judy I kept this in my collection for a long time but at this point you can't get it anywhere and the colors aren't particularly original but yeah I do need to get rid of it but I do like it a lot I have a couple palettes from boxy charms that I never use like this should just go to show you if your palettes are sitting never being used you don't need boxy charm I have this really cute butter London palette it's called natural goddess this is like from last year or something really pretty colors I can give this away to my little cousin ace beauty has this grandiose palette really nice warm tones ace beauty has an okay formula I've never been a big fan fan of their formula but I'm a fan of their brand so I have a tough time because I love the color stories that they come out with and the palettes and the designs but most of the time I'm pretty disappointed with their formula but I've never used this and I don't think I ever will so put that up. I have this palette from Maybelline. This is the Lemonade Craze palette. I remember I bought this when it first launched. I was really excited about it because it's supposed to smell like lemonade which it... <laughs> kind of does but you have to like suck in really strong to smell it but this was like very bad quality you can get a very nice light soft look but for the most part the quality in this is horrific and this is like a true drugstore palette that really sucks i also have the flower beauty sugar rush eyeshadow palette flower beauty 
has some amazing products in their line. And this one isn't it. And I mean, I've created some nice looks with it, but I always say this and it's hard to explain, but sometimes you can just feel a eyeshadow and know if it's drugstore or not. Drugstore eyeshadow palettes in particular, they have this specific type of formula. You can almost tell just by looking at it that it's gonna be that drugstore formula. And I don't like that formula. And this one has it. Here is another boxy charm palette. This is Morphe. What is it? The 15N. I wanted to keep this for myself. That's why, that's why I still have it. Like I know I don't want it. I know I will never use it, but I love these plummy tones. I think I'm gonna keep this. Honestly, you guys, I filmed this video like three weeks ago. Still have not used that palette, but I definitely put it back. Why am I like this? Oh my goodness. You can shave me. I'm not going to edit this out. Feel free to shave me. It's fine. So the last one that I am decluttering is this CoverGirl True Naked Jewels. And me and this little palette, we have some good memories together. This is when I was first really getting into doing bright out of the box the makeup looks for what I was used to. So I picked this little guy up and I really like the jewel tones in here. I don't think the quality in here was amazing, but just for my needs and my budget, I was definitely able to make this work for me. So this just reminds me of a time when I was making it work with what I had, just expressing myself with makeup and loving it. So this one does have some nostalgia. So it kind of hurts a little bit for me to throw this away because I remember when I was first getting into making my Instagram Instagram, I purchased this to do something a little crazy for my Instagram, but anyways, <laughs> that is all I have for today's video. I just thought it would be fun to sit down chat and just show you my shame basically. And most of these palettes honestly are going to hit the bottom of a trash bag very soon. They're very, very old. The quality isn't as good. Like I said, I probably have a few that I want to keep around in my box where I just keep palettes to keep them just in case they do go through a trial period. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining. Do you guys do what I do? Do you have a trial period box? If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would really love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.